Video games are capable of igniting many different kinds of emotional responses from their players. It's a wonderfully interactive medium that can lead a player to feel and respond in unique ways when given the agency, or have it taken away, while navigating through a virtual world. Horror games in particular are known for eliciting powerful responses. Frightful narratives have become more immersive than ever. But in the past, there has been cases where games managed to frighten players when they normally shouldn't. We're talking games that are rumored to be haunted, the ones that have left players feeling uncomfortable, or in the presence of something otherworldly outside of the images on their screen. So today, we're going to explore these particular titles in our list of the top 10 haunted video games. And warning, some of this is rather spooky. In at number 10, Berserk. Berserk has gone down in history as one of the arcade era's most influential and popular games. It also is the first video game to be linked to the death of a player. It's a multi directional shooter video game, where you navigate a maze and fight off robots, all leading up to a boss battle with the game's antagonist, Evil Otto, a smiley face. In 1981, a man named Jeff Daly died after playing the game. A year later, in 1982, another young man would die, an 18 year old in good health named Peter Burkowski, who had achieved a high score, and after placing his initials in into the game, he collapsed dead. Scientifically, both causes of death were heart attacks. Jeff Daly's score was 16,660, which many have noted that when you remove the binary numbers, read 666. In at number 9, Polybius. The arcade game Polybius has spawned a major urban legend that resurfaced in 2000. Apparently, it first appeared in an arcade in Portland, Oregon in the 1980s, and its gameplay combined elements of other arcade classics like Pac Man and Tempest, except when people would play it, they reported feeling ill, with issues like headaches, seizures, Blackouts, amnesia, and hallucinations. The myth also tells of players who would commit suicide after playing. To add more to the mystery, the game was reported to be periodically visited by men dressed in black, causing people to speculate that it was a government experiment, creating psychoactive and addictive effects on players. The arcade game also disappeared from arcades too. Note that Polybus is the name of a Greek historian who is known for his assertion that historians shouldn't report what they can't verify through interviews with witnesses. Whether haunted, a government experiment, or just a flat out myth, the game has left quite the legacy, and has even appeared in an episode of The Simpsons. Not to mention that it's inspired many other games of the same name, and even appeared in GamePro magazine, where they claimed the existence of the game was, I quote, inconclusive. And at number 8, Hall of Tortured Souls. Available on the Windows 95, players discovered that if they followed a specific set of instructions and held certain keys on their keyboard, a new window would appear on their screen called the Hall of Tortured Souls. It's a 3D game that involved walking through a series of rooms that led to a small chamber. Once you typed in the magic word, which is spelled E X C E L K F A, Excel Kupa, it would open into an inner chamber with pixelated images on the walls that some have claimed appears to look like The Last Supper. While some think it's just an Easter Egg, others believe that it's Bill Gates' attempt to steal souls. Whatever that means. And at number 7, Sad Satan. Reported to be a file discovered on the deep web called sadsatan.exe, this horror game features weird, abstract black and white visuals containing ghosts of children, with the voices of famous American serial killers acting as a soundtrack. As you navigate down its decaying hallways, weird, jarring images appear, including one of Franz Joseph and another of Jimmy Savile, a British pedophile, posing with Margaret Thatcher. And worse, some feature images of child pornography or scenes of gore. The game also proceeds to spread malware onto your computer that wipes it out. So maybe it's not worth trying to find and download? And at number 6, Pokemon Ghost. In Pokemon X and Y, there is a ghost girl character that abruptly appears in one of the buildings of Lumos City. The music stops, the screen flashes, and she floats by you saying, no, you are not the one, before disappearing. Or at least that's the case in all the accounts that players have seen her. Later on, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, a Another ghost girl appears again during the cutscene before you battle Phoebe. While her first appearance is arguably intentionally placed into the game by developers, many have questioned whether or not her vague appearance during the scene with Phoebe is intentional or the works of a haunted game, since no answers have been discovered yet. We mentioned this one in our top 10 Pokemon fan theories, so definitely check out that video for the full explanation of the theory and potentially figure out who Ghost Girl is. And at number 5, Taboo the Sixth Sense. A 1998 NES game, Taboo the Sixth Sense is essentially a tarot rating, in which after you enter your your name and age, it predicts the future for you, using algorithms and a tarot deck. But where it becomes creepy is the fact that it predicted the death of some of the people who played the game, causing the game to be pulled off the market. Up next, number 4, Pokemon Red and Green, Lavender Town. Known as the Lavender Town Syndrome back in 1996, it was rumored that the first release of the Japanese Pokemon games led to a large number of suicides and illnesses in children who played the game, ranging from ages 7 to 12. This happened after they reached Lavender Town in the game, which had a specific musical score that caused headaches and nausea in children.
the music levels were altered before the North American release. And at number 3, Kill Switch. Rumor has it that Kill Switch, a horror survival game, was created by a Soviet gaming company called Carvina Corporation back in 1989. It had limited copies, around 5,000 were released. You could pick between playing as a girl or as an invisible demon, with the demon being almost impossible to navigate with, hence everyone choosing to play the girl, Porto, instead. The game would delete itself after being played. There was a copy of the game that was sold at an auction in 2005 for $733,000 to a Tokyo man named Yamamoto Ryuchi. He intended to film the gameplay and upload it, but the only video of him that surfaced of him playing is a 1 minute 45 second clip of Yamamoto at his computer crying. Just crying. Ugh. And at number 2, Morrowind. Elder Scrolls Morrowind is one of the most beloved games in its franchise. It also has a slew of mods available online, with one in particular resulting in some pretty creepy stuff. Titled JVK1166Z.esp, the mod is rumored to have driven those who install it to go insane. Initially, when it first came out, the mod appeared to be a virus that froze your game and corrupted your save files. But then someone ran the game in DOS Box, which allowed it and the game to function. The mod kills all of the the main characters at the start of the game, and if you stood still for too long, your health would begin to drop. So naturally, someone stood still for long enough to die and was welcomed to a creepy surprise. A new character revealed himself, which players have named the Assassin, and he had long, bent arms and legs like a spider. Hey. Other additions the mod created was that during the nighttime, the remaining living characters would go outside and say, "Watch the sky." The Assassin could be seen moving around the corners of your screen in the distance, and a new dungeon was discovered called the Hall of Portraits, featuring portraits of of images from the player's My Pictures folder on their computer. At the end of the hall, there was a locked door that no one could open. Apparently, people went insane after playing the game with the mod for too long, becoming gradually obsessed with trying to open this door. And finally, at number one, Majora's Mask. Originating from 4chan, the story about a haunted Majora's Mask cartridge was about a blank N64 cartridge that a player obtained that had Majora's Mask written on it in black marker. With photographic evidence and videos in his post, the player went on to tell a story about how the game contained one save file titled Ben, B-E-N. When he started a new game, all the NPCs called him Ben, so he deleted the save file, but that backfired. The game's music started playing backwards, his character was followed by a statue, and the game would severely glitch. The Ben file reappeared, along with a new file titled Drowned. Ben Drowned. Hmm. Anytime he played after that, his character would always die and this message would appear across the screen. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? That, that would be a reason to turn off your console, like, immediately. All right. Right, there we have it. Are you guys all spooked out? Which of these haunted games do you think may actually be haunted for real? Let us know in those comments below. And as always, if you dug this video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And check out our most popular uploads playlist for more gaming videos. In the meantime, I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.